Yo guys, what is up? Welcome back to Mojirao. Welcome back to another Pro 1v1 match. Today, we are on Tournament Desert, but not any regular Tournament Desert. We're on TD Classic, actually, which I believe was from Generals. CNC uh, Generals without the zero. Down in the south, we have Mentor Patient, which is Scuba, expert level player. And he's playing with the GLA Tox in the green. All the way up in the north, facing him today, we have the Cyan player, which is Marika. And he has the China tank. So, uh, matchup is massively in favor of Scuba, uh, the green player down here. Uh, but I think Marikar is a level above Scuba, so I actually think that'll make for quite a good game. Uh, knowing Marikar, I think he will go for a lot of helixes. Even though he is China tank and primarily you'll be making ground units, I think he will transition later on into helixes. I've uh, seen him play China quite a lot. <laughs> when, when every replay you see of him, he's just got 20 helixes. You kind of learn to predict, okay, it's probably going to be helixes. Might be wrong, though. Might be wrong. Uh, this matchup not only favors Scuba because he's got the stronger army, which is GLA Tox, but also um, it's uh, clearly his map choice because um, I've seen him pick it hundreds <laughs> and hundreds of times. If you ask him his top five favorite maps, they will all be TD Classic 1 to 5. Uh, that said, though, even though I joke about that, and I think even he jokes about it as well, <laughs> um, I actually do really like the map, to be fair. I actually think it results in better games than uh, regular Tournament Desert and a lot of other maps as well. So even though I joke about it, it is actually, um, it is actually something pretty decent. I hope he spreads his terrorists around. Okay. I think they would just spread enough. Having one and then two there is kind of fine. But if they bunch up, often you've seen it where, um... The terrorists all kill each other. That tunnel there, not getting up. Was that quite a late worker over there? Or maybe that Gat just shut it down a little bit too fast. Gat trying to make his way into the supply line here. I think uh, Scuba has made maybe a little bit of an error. Maybe should have gone for a fast oil here. Or at least if he was going for a TNT, at least queued up. Oh, he has queued up Rebel. Okay, okay. I was going to say at least queued up a Rebel as well, but he has. Uh, if he gets the scrap from that, it will be a big boost, but I don't think the scrap is there. So, I mean, that TNT has slowed Marikar down, and it is worth it, because you've got three terrorists, uh, $600, uh, Wolf actually costs 2000 The slow Marikar down and maybe confuse him a little bit that he's lost a War Factory and therefore his first few units are going to be delayed. And I suppose that might, might give Scuba actually more time to get the... Um, Scorpion rocket upgrade. She seems to have got pretty much straight away. But the problem is here, actually against Tox, even though Tox is a stronger army, Flamers and Battlemasters are actually very good against uh, Tox tunnels. Saying that though, if you pop some RPGs and there's no Flamer nearby still doing the Flame Wall, that's quite a mistake there by Marikar. It's given a lot of XP there to Scuba straight away, over 500 now. Scuba seems to have secured his right side and got his oil. So I actually kind of like Scuba's position. But I would like maybe a second arms dealer or at least a more forward tunnel here because he's clear, clearly lost that position. But actually, what's he done here? He's gone for a technical in the base. Okay. Thought he might have TNT'd another building, but it's just a technical. It could have been a bit of better technical. Could be micro, but Scuba not multitasking currently. is more focused on defending his base. Just that could have harassed Marikar a little bit more, putting it there. Controlling these and then going uh, flicking to the technical. Could have achieved maybe a little bit more. Would also like to see more workers here. It looks like he is re uh, remaking them there. Uh, yeah, Scorpions will lose a battle there without the rockets, but with the rockets, they will quickly wreck the battle masters. But they both go low HP, go away. They'll need to go inside of the tunnel now. Meanwhile, Marikol will auto repair because he's got the vet too. Uh, but the problem is that Scuba, every one, he, every one of these he kills. Like if you killed those five there, you're already level three. Uh, because he's already over 500 uh, XP now. Um, and each one of them is worth 200 XP because they're Vet 2. <clears throat> Behind this, uh, we got a prop actually from Marikar. I thought it could be an airfield, but it's actually a prop first. It needs to protect that uh, quad. So that is the, the weak unit here. There's only one... Oh, there's two Gats. Two Gats here. Get the trade-off so far. Two Scorpions. For one yet. A lot of battle masters being killed. Scuba is already nearly level three, but he's also just lost all of his army. So 
Yeah, that's not obviously ideal. Uh, hopefully for him, though, that tunnel gets up. It does. And, yeah, I think he will stabilize there. He's actually on two arms dealers now. We'll get a load of scrap here. Get a st double rocket. Could get a double rocket on the other one as well. I don't know, maybe that... I don't know. Maybe that one was missing the rocket in the first place. I think it was. ECM now in the mix. That'll make this Scorpion battle a lot harder. Scuba going to put some pressure on its right side. Is he going to just try and take out that oil as soon as it got captured? I think that would be a good idea just to take that away. Maricon now dropping down the airfield. And we've got an Albino Scorpion. Pretty standard in zero. Now when there's ECMs around, you're going to see Albino units. It's like there's a bug in a game where if it gets disabled and then re-enabled, it'll just uh, bug out and stay white <laughs> for the rest of the game. It's actually a lot brighter than the other units in general, isn't it? It's not just the skin. It's the... Uh, is it the actual texture as well, or is it... I don't know. It's just very white, isn't it? Scuba capturing that oil on the right. Uh, Lotus, I think if you park the Lotus there, you can um, you can actually capture it up the hill. But he's, he seems to not know that. He's walking around the long way. So Scuba's got quite a nice unit mix. I think those RPGs should be more with the army, though. But it seems like he doesn't need it, actually. He is taking out a lot of tanks. I think I would have finished that one, at least. Yeah, he does finish it. Gets a Vet 2 Scorpion. Can hear a helix out now, so uh, Scuba will need to scout that soon rather than leave it to the element of surprise, in which case he will lose probably all of them scorpions. There's one quad in here so far. He's still on double arms there and no palace just yet. Scuba really bunkering in that oil. Yeah, I don't know about this capture of that. I think I would have just killed it. Uh, there is a helix out now. Helix takes out the quad. Element of surprise is now with Marikar. So he needs to make the most of that. But the Helix flies in maybe a little bit too deep. Is going to escape. Takes out a number of Scorpions. I think two or three in total. I don't know if that was the third. This actually survived. CC being built now by Scuba. He is uh, level three. No CC up for Marikar. He is approaching level three. This is just going to be killed now by Scuba. I like that. There is a Helix on the way, though. That's a Speaker Tower one, though. This is the Bunker Helix. Mm, don't know if they should come in, to be honest. Because that's not going to do anything. And that one could go down very easily. Yep. Told you. Yeah, go down. Did they take out two Scorpions? Not worth it, though, for a big, expensive Helix for tank. Because the infantry costs more than all the other Chinas. It's like 385 for a tank hunter. That's a nice bunker, though. I would like that to see that even more full, you know? Helix is coming in again. Is Maricard just going to fight that bunker? I don't know about that. Losing a lot of stuff, and Scuba is even approaching level 5. He's already level 4. Um, so yeah, I don't know about that Lix decision from Maricard on the right, and I don't know about engaging that bunker decision either. So, yeah, looking pretty good for Scuba, I'd say. The XP would tell you he's winning the game with ease. Uh, Lois... Sounded like she was going to disable something, but she decided to bail on the situation and now go north. No auto upgrade in play for Marika. Ooh, Tox Rebel Ambush used. Kills. Almost kills the Flamer. Does kill the Flamer, but now that bunker is re established. Marikar is losing a hell of a lot of stuff, and the RPGs in there are so uh, highly vetted. There's a ton of stuff there going down for Marikar. And Scuba is very close now to level 5. Marikar's mined out on his main. Uh, Scuba's still mining a little bit there. And in the middle, Scuba is collecting as well, but so is Marikar. Artillery comes in. It looks like a level 2 artillery. Doesn't kill the oil. Scuba pressing with quads. Bad mistake. His quads basically do nothing to the Battlemasters when they're fed too. Helix comes in. Even if they suicide, as long as they kill an oil. Oh, I mean, ideally, you want to get out alive, and they do. Pop there a little bit slow for Scuba. So, yeah, Marikar done pretty nice to even up the oil situation. The supplies are even because both players are collecting from the mid. Flamer coming in on this position. Going to clear out the RPGs from that building. Scuba holding strong is building uh, a ton more quads. 
You're scared of the helixes? There's only two. I don't think you need to go crazy. I actually think a few more stingers dotted around wouldn't be so bad. At least one here, one here, and one over there. There is already one over there, but yeah, at least one on each entrance. Because the stinger is, like, so good against helixes. If you've got two helixes and there's one stinger there, you really doubt whether going in is a good idea. CC is going to be captured by the Lotus. Scuba doesn't seem to be on that much cash, but I think one of the main reasons is he's only on four workers on his main. Got 15k left. So like 11k there. So it does make a difference. That's the difference between like having a market already or not. Oh, it's actually a palace. He hasn't even got a palace yet. Yeah, I don't know about put pressing too far with these quads. He's getting the bounty money. He's only getting 10% though because he selected the rebel ambush as well. Um, I don't know if he could have already afforded the top level of the bounty though. Maybe not. <laughs> Just in time to see the funky bit of action there. Lotus suicided herself to disable a, a quad and actually take the quad with her. Terrorist takes her out. Yeah, more workers on his main now. I like that. Could even probably pull a few from there and actually collect from that right side. But Marikar now pushing in with Flamers and Battlemasters. He does have Autoloader upgrade now. He's floating 4.7k though. I would like to see a few more Battlemasters in that army. At least so he's getting the Horde bonus. So at least one more. Quad pop there. A little bit of damage to the Elixirs, but they are going to repair fairly quickly. Yeah, Marikar is floating quite a bit of cash now, considering he's at risk of losing the game. Because Tox is quite bunkered in in the middle. And, I mean, once this mine's out on the left, he's going to be in he's going to be in trouble. And also Tox approaching level 5. You want to end the game sooner rather than later. So floating 6 to 7k at that point in the game, do not think it's optimal at all. Um, but in contrast to that, Scuba has also been collecting on his main with only 4 workers for a while. But now, now with more. Yeah, see what I mean? It's just wasting quads there for absolutely no reason at all. Still needs an extra battle master there. It's actually a nuke being deployed by Marikar. Nah, I don't know if I like that, you know. Don't know if I like that. I would make that army 5k's worth of uh, money bigger. More battle masters, more ECMs, more gats or flamer or something like that. Try pushing here, try pushing here. I just think that's going to get more value sooner. Rather than building a nuclear missile, I don't know. That's good. You see, he's got 4.8k in the bank. Plus that, he could have a 10k army now. Uh, you could definitely push there with a 10k army. Clear both of them with the with the scaffold, like a barrack scaffold or something. Clear both of them and push this position. You could definitely push in. And then whilst he's distracted, maybe flying with elixirs and clear a left or a right position. Scuba is listening, and he's got uh, stingers now dotted around the map like that. I still don't like these quads so far forward. I really don't know what they're doing, honestly. And I know they should be out defending against these Lixers, but I don't know what that Lix decision is. Whoa. One Lix goes down, maybe took the battle bus out, but these quads shouldn't have been that far forward and those Helixes shouldn't have flown in. So yeah, a little bit weird micro there from both players. I think those quads should have been here, but nowhere near the front line of the Battlemasters because the Battlemasters basically do one shot and the quad's dead. So, yeah, a bit weird. Scuba also doesn't have AP ammo because then they've got a fake market. Jarman snipes a uh, flamer. Now, that's an albino one as well. <laughs> oh, my. Marikos making hackers as tank. <laughs> I know there's certain members of the community that have a lot to say about that. The, the reason is... That you probably don't want to be doing that. It's because for dollar per dollar, every hacker that you buy for tank, GLA is going to be able to make that money cheaper or, or better. Your hackers are vulnerable to like a uh, tox bomb and a sneak attack later on. By the time they pay off, because they're so expensive to start off with, you're probably going to be dead. <laughs> uh, you pr you, your money's better spent now with like your strong ground units trying to close the game out sooner. I personally think, anyway, I've seen a few epic tank replays in the past where people have made hackers. Uh, I just think, like, to fill that internet center plus all the hackers is probably the best part of 10k. I would rather a 10k army now. I think it's going to have more impact on the game. Otherwise, you've got too few units out and you risk losing 
losing the the battles in the game just like this. I think uh, he needs to try and save that battle bus, but I don't know if he's going to do that. Yeah, Scuba is level 5. Flamer comes in. Is the Jarman going to be able to save it? No. Hmm. Wonder if there's a way you could have saved that battle burst. Maybe keeping the quads there. Sniper comes in again. Rebel ambush taking out the trucks. Marcos still filling his internet center. Ooh, there comes the uh, tox bomb, and that is going to be pretty juicy. It's going to kill all the flamers, all the gats, all the trucks. Yeah, very nice tox bomb. And now, yeah, is Marikar going to be able to win the game? I mean, even if you've got to fire the nuke, even if you add map hack and you could see the entire map and you could nuke anywhere, where are you going to nuke that's going to deal a lot of damage? More damage than a 10k army would have done before. The truth is, it's probably not a lot of places. Artillery level 2 coming in, it could be on that market. Jarman around the back. Uh, he's going to get detected, though, I think, by that outpost, although the outpost is going in the wrong direction, so maybe not. Uh, surprise from Scuba, we haven't seen a sneak attack. As I say that. <laughs> there we go. He's scouting with the Jarman. Helix is right there, though. Is he going to pop? Oh, he does pop. No AP ammo still. I suppose the market got took out. Quad pop again, that's a mistake. Oh, baby. Yeah, like, how much extra stuff would Marikar have now if he didn't fill that and didn't have that? He would have loads more units, be able to fight for these suppliers on the map. I just, uh, I, know, I know it's a hard matchup and there's no easy answer. I'm just convinced that the internet center and the nuke is not the best way. I think a third wall factory and a, and a bigger better, faster army. Out quicker would be better. Uh, you can also get the upgrades from the nukes, I suppose. Um, the battle master speed and all that kind of stuff. But because he's, because he's so few on cash now, he's actually even giving extra supplies to Scuba that otherwise he should be fighting for, or at least maybe he could even have this side, like at least selected from there. Needed a way to crack that bunker. Level 2 artillery could have done it, actually. A level 2 artillery and a uh, tank army could have done it. But now I think he's uh, lost the game. Because, like I said, even if you fire that nuke, like, what are you going to do? Maybe you're going to double it up with some artillery, but the artillery's only recently been fired. You'll be able to take it mark it down to the hole, or maybe you can nuke this position and kill some workers in that bunker. I think that's a decent idea. But you just don't have enough uh, units, says America. He does have a tiny little army. Scuba's bringing all of his RPGs, and there's only one anti-infantry unit in that mix for Marika, which happens to be that flamer at the back. But all of these RPGs, maybe just one extra unit for Scuba, could actually maybe take it out. There is an ECM there, though. That's an important bit of micro for Marika to do now. Nuke is ready as well. Uh, I don't know about popping that, to be honest, when the nuke's ready. Nuke hits that. That's the best target on the map. <laughs> You're giving Marikar somewhere to shoot at. Oh, no! What are we seeing? Uh, <laughs> that was weird, man. What the hell? That was weird. Well, because Scuba evac that bunker, probably one of the worst <laughs> decisions he's made through the game. He has actually uh, <laughs> given up a lot of map control now. Is Marikar going to be able to win this game? Oh my god, it would be uh, pretty epic if he did. 
Rebel Ambush used in front of the Battlemasters. Quads again engaging the Battlemasters. I mean, they are doing damage with the help of the Rebel Ambush. He is pushing Maricar back. But uh, should have probably AP ammo. It tear through, tear through their armor. 25% uh, faster. I suppose the thing going for Maricar is that Scuba's market count, because he started the palace so late, he actually doesn't have many markets. He's got one and a half markets. <laughs> Not even one and a half, like one and a quarter, because a fake is only like a quarter of the value of a real one, so. So, yeah, don't tell me that Scuba's going to be uh, out camped here by the tank. Would be quite astonishing, <laughs> to be honest. Would be astonishing. Okay, he has a battle bus. Is it full though? It is quite full. But again, he's pressing forward with the quads first. Sneak attack now deployed in front of the CC. Jean Munkel is here as well. Here comes a mine drop. Artillery launched as well, so that's going to be somewhere here. Unit lost. Yeah, somewhere here is launched the mines as well. Where's the artillery going to hit though? Actually hits by the sneak attack. So at least with that, he's baited out the sneak attack. He's actually fully loaded that bunker as well. And he's going to be able to hit the CC. I don't know if that CC is going to be able to re be repaired fast enough. It's going to slow the death down. But I still think it's going to die. Got Jean Minkel here. Still no AP ammo, but I think he has got the cash for it. There is mines there, so Skiba will lose some units. Here comes an Amphrax bomb. Probably going to be very deep. Yeah, nice. That's good. CC is being killed. I would like it, you know, any mathematicians on the channel, in the comments, work out how much benefit. It's, I mean, it's difficult to come up with an answer because the hackers are, are like drip fed into that. Um, so the money for hacker one starts paying for itself like quite quick. Well, for longer, I wouldn't say quick. <laughs> I'll be no quad. But then obviously as it becomes full, then they're all trying to catch up and pay for each other. I think it's probably talking a good 10 minutes before it's made 10k profit. Something like that. And then, and then you've got to kind of come up with a value for how much, how much damage could Marikar have done with a 10k army instead of that nuke and instead of that internet center. You see what I mean? It's kind of hard to come up with values, but I guarantee you <laughs> it would have had more of a chance in this game by not, not building those two things. I think he has, uh, I think he has killed himself here. Scoop is still making loads of quads, still no AP ammo. But he is tearing through the base here of Marikar. Marikar's actually got 3.5k. And Scoop is still only on one market. Scuba places a uh, oh, places a beacon rather. In this and it's still going, and I mean some of them are getting eight dollars now. It's actually quite an epic game, this one. Because Scuba's economy, which is kind of weird for a tox to not have an amazing economy at this stage, that market still isn't real. Uh, Anthrax, uh, not Anthrax, sorry, uh, Tox Rebels in the top left. Marikar is level 5, so that could have an EMP on it if that CC finishes, but it doesn't look like it. Ah, oh, man. Yeah, it's so painful. Uh, so them hackers, have they paid for themselves? When he started making it, have they... They've probably just paid for themselves and made a bit of money. But money was m worth more earlier. Ooh, that's going to hurt. Money was worth more earlier. Is that as the game progresses into the later stage money is worth less like kind of like inflation or something like a 600 uh, an, an 800 dollar uh, how much is a battle master again 700 700 dollar battle master is going to have or a flamer is going to have more impact at the start of a game than it is in a campy long game that's been 24 minutes you see what i mean when the maps all bunkered off and all that kind of stuff uh, I mean, Marikar's still giving it a good go and survived most of his uh, hackers. Maybe about half, actually. 
how many hackers fit in there? Is it eight or ten? Oh, he runs into mines. Hmm, this is actually going awfully close. I was thought he was building a nuke again. He's building an internet center. I suppose he has to build an internet center because otherwise they'll just get Tox Rebel ambushed and they're dead. Is that another mine drop? What the hell? I didn't even know Tox Rebels could clear mines. Oh, apparently they're having trouble. <laughs> Clearing it with their feet, maybe. Hmm, has Marikol got any chance? Uh... He's got a chance, because Scuba doesn't have any cash either. <laughs> Marikal has five tank hackers to his name. I think his cash will be going up faster, though. I think he's getting slightly more cash. If you watch that, I'm, like, counting who gets the 2k first, or who gets the 1.5k first, something like that. Scuba trying to clear the mines with a flamer that he's stolen. I think Scuba could even sell that, sell one more factory at this stage. Artillery coming in. It's going to hit a fake market. Oh, Scuba sold the wrong one. <laughs> oh, man, you could literally not make that up, could you? Oh, my God, what a massive blunder that is. That's the risk you take if you sell something. He's probably upgrading that one. Oh, my God, I don't believe this game. I literally don't believe it. Surely that that is upgraded. Surely. I hope for his sake he's pr he's pressed upgrade on that. I would have sold that about half an hour ago. <laughs> the game's only twenty eight minutes. I would have uh, yeah I would have sold it like ten minutes ago at least. Okay, he has got one real market again. He is still collecting from the mid. There's still some supplies here. Honestly, I can't believe we're still here. Honestly, uh, <laughs> I don't know what to say. Did tell you though that tournament desert uh, classic normally results in better games than uh, on regular tournament desert or on a, on a lot of other maps to be honest yeah flamer and a radar van is what it's come down to for scuba i mean the support powers are better for marikar so maybe he can maybe he can do this like artillery could just wipe out a building and there's nothing Scuba can do about it. You got EMP, you got mines, you got carpet if he selected it. But have we seen carpet? Yeah, and I say better. Scuba still obviously got the rebel ambush, sneak attack. It's actually killing his own rebels there. He's obviously got sneak attack, which could be uh, deadly again to this internet center. Oh, he has selected carpet. And about um, as decent as you could have wanted it. Oh, man, it didn't finish this, though. Oh, what's going to happen here? It's a tank drop. Tank drop. Oh, and a tox bomb on his own army. And three of the hackers survive. The, <laughs> the battle burst is back. The flamer is out. There's a battle master after this. The battle burst just runs over the hackers. Wolf actually goes down, and that's it. GG. Oh, wow. What a close game. <laughs> I was not defeated. expecting that. I thought this was just going to be like Marikar just gets slowly camped out of the game and then GG. And it, it kind of happened, but Scuba was also very low cash. I don't know if Marikar fully realized that. I guess maybe he did. Because uh, he, he did know where the markets were and he did artillery them. But yeah, there was uh, edge of your seat stuff to the end. Very well played there to Scuba in the end. I think it should be more clear cut than that. I think Tox should win more comfortably. I think you should have more markets. Um, I think you should have more tunnels in the middle earlier on because he did get shot out of the middle pretty early on. Uh, TNT worked out quite nicely, I suppose, and was quite cost efficient. Maybe that technical could have done a little bit more. Um, and I think Marikar, yeah, definitely making the nuke and making it in the center. I would love to see an alternate reality. I know I always talk about alternate reality, but I do want to see it where Marikar doesn't invest in the nuke and doesn't invest in the internet center, pours more units out, takes more control of the middle earlier on, and expands to another supply in the middle and then see how the game goes from there because I, I i personally think he would have won if he did that and i personally think uh yeah the game would have been over a lot sooner if he'd done that as well i might be wrong maybe scuba would have come up with some master plan to hold it 
But that's what I personally think. I don't think the Internet Center is uh, worthwhile. But it, mathematicians in the chat, anyone who wants to give me a long formula about how you worked it out <laughs> when the first hacker was made, when the second hacker was made, how often they vet up and collect more and the cost of the Internet Center and the cost of inflation. <laughs> and like a like a, an army of 3K now is going to get more achieved than an army of 3K later when the map's all bunkered off and it gets the late stage and the support powers and all that kind of stuff. It's quite a complex formula, but maybe someone's got an answer for it. <laughs> right, GG, well played. See you in the next one.